Hello everyone, I'm in Central California, Zone 9B. And uh, this is my, uh, my raised bed here. This is solely for me to eat and some of the rest, this is some Moringa, Moringa, some more Moringa behind me. <clears throat> but this raised bed is for our dinners. So I'll do a quick tour of the raised bed. It's uh, January 24th, so it's still pretty dormant, but you can still grow. Um, here's a row of, excuse me, here's a row of onions. There's some uh, garlic in here and some elephant garlic over there, and there's more on that side I'll show you. Here's a Tuscan or Lacinato or dinosaur kale, and here's another one. This was, there's a previous video I have of, this was a test. This was not sprayed with seaweed extract on its leaves, foliar fed, and this was sprayed. Look at the difference. Pretty healthy too. And you see the difference from sprayed with seaweed extract? Not sprayed. And now it's in the shadow of its big brother or big sister. So here's some more garlic. Uh, here's some zatar plants. Right here, this is called Oregonum syriacum. There's some more on the side. It, it doesn't grow by rhizomes, but these seed pods right here, you see these guys? See these? kind of like oregano, but this is called Syrian oregano or Oregonum syriacum. Uh, other, uh, a variety of sweet marjoram, or the variety is called Zatar, Z-A-A-T-A-R, hence my name, my YouTube channel name, Zatar Garden, Gardens. But uh, this is a great deterrent of a lot of bugs, so they are, uh, I don't, I didn't plant this, this is self-seeded, and trust me, you don't have to plant these once you plant them one or two plants you're good to go so you can see there's there's more there and there's a lot more you'll see on the other side when I walk there how how, how dense it is and obviously you can see my other Syrian oregano all that way to the corner all over my yard everywhere this is how I make my zatar mixture the freshest tasting one you ever tasted in America in the Middle East of course they grow them all the time but in America you're not gonna taste any fresher than mine because I grow it when you taste my Zatar mix, it's going to be one week old instead of one year old from the Middle East imported into country. This is a snap pea. Uh, many told me, oh, you can't grow this now. I planted this in fall. Look how many flowers. And a lot of them are falling, they fell, so I'm not really sure why, but, uh, but yeah, I, I can't grow this. What's wrong with people? Now, many of you gardeners know you can grow this in the winter. Um, especially if you have a mild winter like we do here at Zone 9B. The lowest I ever got was 28. It was said to be 26 one night, but it, it rained. So the temperature rose up to like, I think, 32 or something like that. Or 35. Look at all this. This is, this is not me planting. This is self-seeded. Look at all this. So, anyways, there's uh, over there. Right here in the corner is a, on the tip of my finger is cilantro, there's some elephant garlic, or I'm not too sure, maybe it's regular garlic. Um, here's some more garlic here and here. Here's brand new, my son planted. Italian parsley, Italian parsley, the moss curled leaf parsley, moss curled leaf parsley. And we have a lot more in my previous videos, you could see a lot more parsley in another area that my son planted as well. Um, here's Everbearing Strawberry, and there's another big one in here. You can see the leaves, the strawberry plant. So anyways, um, I was looking at a squirrel, and dog's looking at the squirrel in my, in my neighbor's yard. Um, I planted evergreen or hardy white um, green onions here and throughout here I planted uh, thyme uh, 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 thymus there's the barking now for that squirrel uh, thymus vulgaris that is um, known to be the original thyme between these parsley here 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 and I accidentally put some there with the onions so whatever if it works it works there's nothing planted here. These are going to be tomatoes and cucumbers and peppers. I'm ordering some right now. 
One's called a Aleppo pepper from the city of Aleppo, but it's, you know, um, grown here and sold here. So uh, that's an amazing spice that we use in Middle Eastern cuisine on top of a, a yogurt dip called lebni or lebni and other things like that. So I'm going to grow those seeds. It's 10 seeds for $3, so I'm going to try it out. I didn't know you could even grow it. Even my wife's not into that much into gardening. When I told her I could buy Aleppo pepper, she said, do it. That's awesome. So yeah, so I think my bed is almost almost 20 feet by 4 feet. So yeah, that's, a, that's my raised bed. And the cinder blocks, of course. And something cool, like if you just notice, my, I plant strawberries, I plant like a marigold and everything like that in the holes of the cinder blocks. And also a cool thing about the cinder blocks is if I see, like, they don't really eat this, but a snail or a slug eats at this. And during the day, it wants to hide, but it wants to be close to their food source. So they go down and they hide in here. So every day I walk these cinder blocks, or every other day, and you can find the snails. If there's a lot of them, I do eradicate them. If there's one or two, I keep them. Like my previous videos, snails and slugs are normal in your garden. So I'm gonna, I, I keep them. But if there's like, if I find like there's 20 in there, 20 in there, 10 in there, five in there, 20 in there, no way, no way, they're gone. I'm not working hard so they could eat for free. Cool, I think that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna be putting some more um, um, evergreen. I have an evergreen tree you can see way up there. Uh, it drops its leaves and I use those pine needle leaves as my mulch between. I already did it on that side, you can see it. You can see all the, the mulch. I don't buy mulch for, um, for uh, planting. So, but I can't have bare soil like this. This is going to be weed heaven in about a week or two here. So, cool. I don't know much to say other than that. I'm walking around thinking really quick. That's about it, I think. Cool, guys. Alright, see you later. Bye.